In this video, I wanted to give you some helpful tips on how to machine the 6.0 power stroke compressor housing for the GT37 VAS 2003 to 2007. First off, the, the problem most people have or most machinists have with this cover is that they're extremely warped once you get them. The reason why this is is because they're a two-piece housing, they're pressed together, and they're extremely thin. So one thing that you do need to keep in mind is line up the best you can and then surface the flange where the bolts mount to the seal plate. It's also a good idea to machine the silencer area just enough so that you can grab the compressor housing on the inside with the three jaw chuck. Once, if you've done this properly, you'll be able to grab the housing more accurately than grabbing the outside of the housing because they just get so badly warped. Now to straighten the housing out because they're warped once you uh, go to machine them, to straighten this compressor housing out, first you want to line up on the machine, then you're going to machine the back of the compressor housing where it mounts to the back plate. Once you do this, it will straighten out the bore where the compressor wheel sits and it will straighten where the center section will sit up to the compressor housing. Just don't forget to resurface the o-ring groove to match where you resurface the area where the compressor housing meets to the back plate. One thing to keep in mind is that you'll never be able to get the diameter where the seal plate mounts to the compressor housing straight they're just always warped this cover will make a machinist extremely confused because when you go to center the housing up you can center it up and all but it'll be out of round in a few spots which just makes it that much harder to line up also don't forget to machine the o-ring groove so that you move that in just as far as you did the compressor housing surface. Right now I'm working on a much better solution for this compressor housing so I'm going to have some remade that I think are going to be a whole lot better than machining the stock cover. The problem I see with the stock cover is that it is a two-piece housing and it does appear to leak between the seams of the two pieces of the housing sometimes especially when I pressure wash them which also makes me think that it might be creating a boost leak in between the housing itself where boost goes from the compressed area back into the anti-surge area and then back through the inlet recirculating almost like an anti-surge that's not supposed to be there. This cover also does have a regular anti-surge but it just seems to me like being a two-piece housing it should be sealed as a two-piece housing and not leaking from one end of the two-piece housing to the other end of the two-piece housing and then going back into the intake and just recirculating that way. However, for the people of different states where they require to have factory equipment on the vehicles, we will still need to machine the factory cover so that they do not get in trouble with these types of modifications.